I'm going to do my best here with the Rode Classic 2 because it's a sizable aluminium case as you can see. Inside we have the mic itself. One inch diaphragm I believe. The gold dot, the road gold dot uh, signifies the, the front. Quite heavy, believe it's brass. And there's the uh, multi-pin connections. The power supply, again quite weighty. Microphone connection, earth, output, mains and switch. And on the front, the various settings, flat, roll off, sharper roll off, various uh, degrees of the uh, polar response and a pad for reducing the level. All quite uh, nicely made. instructions etc mains cable for the power supply you'll see all this later two shock mounts well a non shock mount just a mount the shock mount which you'll see it in And the uh, quite a long and hefty cable with the mic connections and the um, connection to the power supply. The NT1 comes in a box. Boxes are good. Uh, wouldn't really be suitable for the larger one. Um, with I think it's a Rycote suspension, as you can see. Also with a pop screen, which you can remove. Very nice. I believe again a one inch diaphragm. We'll look in detail. I've got the specs. Standard uh, XLR connection and a standard microphone stand connector. It also has its little uh, sleeping bag to keep the dust off. The NT1A also comes with a sleeping bag. This time it's silver in colour. Again, the one-inch diaphragm. And the mount is uh, an elastic mount. They say the Rycote is better, but... And again, with uh, its own pop filter screen, which you can adjust in a number of ways. Also, I think, yeah, height to some extent. And finally, an adjustment here. So you can get it to where you want it, pretty much. And again, a standard microphone stand mounting. All of them nicely finished. No complaints at all. Yes, indeed. This is the best I can do, folks. I won't tell you how long it took me to set this up in a small space. But, uh, hey, I'm on the SV33 at the moment. We have here the road NT, and next to it the road NT1A, and then finally the road Classic 2. How I came by them? Well, the Classic 2 
excuse me, I did the tests. I took a, the day it was mini disc into his uh, suppliers. They, they got many in, different models from different people. And I liked it. So that's that one. This one I got for using at the school because it was highly recommended. Well, recom mm, I think highly recommended for the price. I didn't want to spend an awful lot, but I wanted something good for them. Later on, I became aware of it. Uh, I wanted something for in here. And uh, sorry about the cat. I wanted something for in here. And um, I was aware of a slight edge on this one. So I got the NT. Also, I wanted to sort of try something a bit different. And then, of course, uh, Earthworks provided the 33. So that's how they all came to be here. The unboxing and charts and stuff. Well, they've done the unboxing. The, these came in cardboard boxes. Fine. Absolutely fine. This one in its aluminium flight case, as you've seen. And this one in its cherry wood box, the 33. But it's not about this one. Uh, were there charts? Usual charts and stuff. Everything online. Let's have a look at what the manufacturer has to say. Though, of course, all this is online. Can I find it? I should have been prepared. Well, I was, I thought. Oh, yeah, there we go. The Rode NT1, I'm on the 33 at the minute, remember. The Rode NT1 is a one-inch uh, condenser, gold-plated membrane, lie coat suspension, state-of-the-art surface mount electronics, so on and so forth. NT1A, they say, again, large one-inch capsule gold-plated, cardioid, both of them cardioid. The classic two is switchable. Low noise, true condenser, so on and so forth. Classic 2, they only mentioned the Limited. I don't know if the Classic 2, as I've got it, is still available. The Limited's the same apart from black, as far as I know. Um, only 500 editions, so maybe they're still making this, I don't know. To commemorate 15 years. Da -da -da -da. Says it's, uh, again, it's one a one inch diaphragm with a 6072 valve, which is pretty rare, but they bought up a huge stock of them. New old stock, so you should be okay. They changed from the original Classic to the Classic 2 um, with the edge terminated, I saw it just now, transformer. Something about it which makes it quieter. I guess look at the f frequency responses. I've prepared something here which should appear. Whoops. Uh, so if we look at that, you can see that the Classic 2 on the left has two positions. Well, it has a number of them, actually. It's got a figure eight as well. But they show the two. And in the cardioid position, it's remarkably flat from way down, with a couple of humps increasing up at the top end. In the Omni position, it's much the same, but there's a little hump around about 80 hertz. And... Uh, more of a peak, limited to being higher up, peaking at around uh, 10 kilohertz. If we look at the Rode NT1, it's remarkably flat, with just a little push around uh, 8, 9, 10k. Uh, imagine that trace is, pro imagine all these traces are smooth, they're not the trace off there, probably don't use them anymore. The Rode NT1A tails off more in the low, very low end. It's got a little boost around 150, it seems to me. Pretty flat, but it'll squiggly. You won't be able to hear that much, I don't think. Um, three humps higher up, looking perhaps a little bit ragged, a little bit peaky up there. So I'm going to go through my usual things. Bear in mind the situation here, so it's only just to give some idea. What are my usual things? Well, fit, finish and fill. No worries. Fine. What do I notice immediately? Okay. Leveled them up as best I can. I'm on the 33. And I'm going to move to the NT1. Roughly the same place. Now I'm on the NT1. I'm on the NT1. What do I notice immediately? I notice a little bit more. I notice a little bit of that. Nice enough, not too much. And I think a little bit of a boom there, which is nice enough as well. Going back to the 33. I'm on the 33. And it just seems to be more open, more revealing somehow to me. 
everything seems a bit more natural if I get closer to 33, a little bit of proximity. Onto the NT1, closer, a little bit of proximity. Proximity is just a little bit boxy, not quite as firm, but it's nice. This is the NT1A, which sounds louder. So I'm going to go by my, my ears and just reduce it a touch. But I think that's possibly because that is obviously, you know those peaks we saw at the top end there. So that's the NT1A. Take it down just a touch. I'm going to go back to the NT1. This is the NT1. I'm aware of a bit more uh, 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 on the NT1, which might simply be because there's less at the top, but whatever, that's how it sounds to me. So it's the NT1. This is the uh, NT1A. Yes, definitely, as soon as I'm back on that. So I hear bottom and top. It's a bit edgy. Mm. Yeah, I think that's why I wasn't so keen on getting another one when I wanted one for home. This is the Rode Classic 2. It has a little bit of a... It has a little bit of the road NT1A about it, but there's a certain valve thing going on as well. The top isn't quite as spiky, even though it's, it's, it's there. And the bottom end is a little bit looser or something. Not sure. Let's go back to back to the 33, which actually uh, maybe sounds a little bit unexciting. Okay, yeah. So you have to be a little bit careful about that. What do you want? You could put the excitement in, I'm sure. But when you're listening to these things, about I'd, I'd say be a little bit wary of uh, if something sounds exciting. If something actually sounds, I wouldn't say dull, but like, oh, then maybe it's uh, a little bit more truthful. Let's go through them again then. This is the 33. This is the NT. This is the NT. This is. This is the NT1A. This it sounds a bit, yeah, a bit hollow or something, a bit scooped. This is the NT1A. This is a Rode Classic 2. Turn this one up a little bit. This is a Rode Classic 2. Rode Classic 2. T -t 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 -t. Back on the 33. Uh, pops, S's, breath, proximity, polar response, handling. So some of that doesn't apply. Pops, well, what can you do about that? Because they've all got their screens. So you may as well try them. This, uh, the Rode Classic 2's got a blue, manufactured by blue mesh type. Hi, Merry Christmas, Me uh, mesh type screen. So um, we'll leave the 33 out of it. This is with the uh, fitted, I'm going to get closer. A pop screen, pop, pop, Peter Piper, pop, pop, Peter Piper, pop, pop, Peter Piper. Very good. This is the NT1A. Pop, pop, Peter Piper, pop, 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 pop. Very good. I'm aware of a bit of a hoo, hoo. That might just be my voice, actually. Pop, pop, pop. May as well try the blue, pop, 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 pop. Blue does a very good job, pop, pop, pop. So, the screens that come with, back on the 33, the screens that come with these two, excuse me, fine. And this one, you, it's a studio mic, you use your own screen. Proximity. This is the NT1, getting closer. This is the NT1, getting closer. This is the NT1, getting closer. This is the NT1, getting closer, getting closer. That's as close as I can get because my nose is on the screen. I'd like to be able to get a little bit closer. Shall I remove the screens? Oh my, I think I might. I'm only going to do this once, I can tell you. So we'll go back through without the screens and see what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the NT1A, getting closer. Yeah, a little bit hollow because it's got the and the which makes the mid, mid band a bit recessed. It's a little bit coarse to my... Uh, to my mind, might suit certain voices. Getting closer, getting closer, getting closer, as close as I can, close as I can. This is the Rode Classic. Getting closer, getting closer. Seems to me to go a little bit lower or with a little bit more weight. Getting closer, getting closer. Am I going to disturb this? I think I am. One of my microphone stands only just because I've ridiculous position as you can see it's really extended and it keeps uh, sagging so I'm trying not to cause that because I've died up as tight as I can this is the one that sags but luckily with this you can just he says undo that oh doesn't like it it's made it even heavier because I brought it out I was just about managing and with this one the road classic will just pull it out of the way 
This is the uh, NT without the, the pop filter. Pop, pop, yeah. Ooh. It does sound a little bit clearer, but uh, I kind of remember. Getting closer, getting closer. If I turn to one side, of course, getting closer with the pops. Getting closer, getting closer, getting closer. If you're very careful, if you're very careful, if you're very careful, if you're very careful. The NT1, turning to the side slightly, getting closer, pops, pops, even there. It's not too bad, is it? Pops, pops, but oh, I'll do it full on. Getting closer, getting closer. Bit, um, ooh, 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 when you get that close. The Road Classic, getting closer, getting closer, getting closer. This one manages it very nicely. In fact, I often use this one, or used to, um, without a pop field, so just so I could get some of that if I wanted. Getting closer. Just as a comparison, the uh, 33 getting closer, getting closer, getting closer, getting closer. Got more of everything. I can't get that close because the uh, end of the diaphragm is some way down. So, okay, they work. You could use them without the filter if you want. You have to be careful. Turn to the side. Sorry, I've got to put these back on now because they're going to do... Do I need to? I guess I will because that's how most people are going to use them. So far, so good. This one shouldn't be too much, but it's sagging already, I can see. S's. Oh. 33 S's. 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 Very well balanced, 33. The NT1. S's. 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 A little bit spikier to my ears. But very well balanced. S's, S's, S's. 33, S's, S's. They're sweeter. S's. NT1, S's, S's, S's. NT1A, S's, S's, S's. Ooh, could EQ it, bordering on a bit much. S's, 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 S's. Similar to the NT1A, there's a bit of a something going on up there. It's got its sound, it's got a valve thing about it. Am I just kidding myself? It seems to have a valve thing about it to me. S's, 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 S's. Back on the 33. Polar response. This one, uh, 33, is cardioid. NT1 and NT1A, cardioid. This one. The classic has a change in response. So let's do that. Why not? Oh. I seem to have a magnetic. Probably not good for... Anything. So this says cardioid. I'm just going to do the extremes. This is omnidirectional. This is omnidirectional. This is omnidirectional. Omnidirectional. As you can hear. I was going to sell some of these, and you can hear the room, but I decided to keep this one, partly because it's my first proper mic, and also because I'm going to be doing some things later where it'd be useful to have, um, like, ribbon mics, or some of them, most of them, to have uh, just one mic record two voices opposite each other. So that's it with the uh, omnidirectional. This is it, cardioid. Sounds a little bit more muted to my, eye, my eyes and my ears. Actually, no, I don't want omnidirectional what I was talking about before is going to be this. Yeah, so it's a little bit more shut in. Back to the uh, omnidirectional. This is the omnidirectional, which I think I prefer, but I can hear the room. This is cardioid, going to figure of eight. This is figure of eight. This is figure of eight. Oh, this is figure of eight. Did they say there's more bass on figure of eight? And the, on the, uh, they didn't have figure of eight, they only had omni. And the Omni did have a bit more bass. This has got more bass on the figure of eight. This is back to uh, Cardioid. And this is back to Omni, which sounds a bit lighter. So I don't think there was a trace for the uh, figure of eight. But I, I rather like the figure of eight. Figure of eight, uh, Road Classic. And this is the Earthworks 33, which again, all of a sudden just sounds sort of normal or something. 
back on this one. I'm going to put it back on. Yeah, maybe this, maybe you've got to be a bit careful. With it. I'm going to put it back on cardioid. There it is on cardioid. Seeing as I'm doing it, I may as well show you the uh, bass roll off switches as well. This is flat. Yeah. This is flat. Yeah. This is not flat. Yeah. Yeah. With a little roll off. This is with more roll off. Yeah. Yeah. You can hear what happens there is that if I do those low notes, the, the breath parts become more and more noticeable as you reduce the weight, the authority. Yeah. 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 Middle sec, middle position. Yeah. 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 With a bit more of it. Flat. Yeah. 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 So it's got to be flat for me. This is a minus 10 dB, I believe. Hope it doesn't pop. It does. Minus, obvious. Minus 10 dB. Switch it again. Even more. So you've got really loud sounds. Back to flat. Handling self. Hand. Mm. Handling and self induced noise. Juiced noise. Uh, handling. May as well do the 33. Has its internal shock mount. It's okay. NT1. Woo! Don't know if you can hear that. It's very low frequency. NT1A. Even lower. You may not be able to hear that. You'd have to have headphones and probably good amplification as well. And finally, on a on a different stand, the um, classic. Well, very good. Thirty three again. Higher up, it could be the resonance of this. Incidentally, this is a road um, arm thing, and I I looked very carefully and did all the weights and measures. And it was meant to hold this, but unless I got it wrong with the kilograms and all them business, I just sort of worked it all out and said, yeah, I've got a little bit of leeway because you've got that hefty cable as well. And it kind of did, but if you had it extended at all, yeesh. so it's a bit of a monster. I've got it on a triad orbit stand, which will hold almost anything. Self-induced noise. This is the, um, excuse me, this is the NT1. I'm just going to switch it, mute it and unmute it. Obviously, there's the, the room as well. There's a bit of a whistle and a hum, but I think it's probably the compute R. Similar, slightly different frequency. That's this one, NT1A. Classic 2. Yeah, on the Classic 2, it's valve. There's a little bit of hiss. Can you hear that? I'll put it on and off in amongst the computer fan and all the rest of it. It's on cardioid at the moment, but there is a little bit of hiss. I noticed that earlier, but it's not ob obtrusive. Thirty-three. Yeah, you've got to be a bit careful with that because I noticed there's a hiss, which I thought might be the mic, but it changes the hiss is there, but it changes tonality. So that might be to do with the cardio. It's probably the computer fan. Um, and it's probably to do with the cardioid uh, pattern and frequencies to do with that. On the 33, how am I invited to sing? I'm not going to do too much of that, but uh, don't know if there's anything on well, the 33 we've done. Let's do the NT1. This is the NT1. This is the NT1. A little bit of that. Maybe I like it. A little bit of that I'm drawn to straight away. Little bit of that up there, a little, little bit of that up there. NT one A, NT one A, and I find I wanted to try to try, do change NT one H to play with that, also avoid it if I don't like it. Going to the classic, and this is the classic. Yeah, this is the classic. Going to put it on classic. My new found, my new found figure of eight favorite. This is the classic. This is the classic. It's got that the classic. This this is the classic figure of eight. This is the classic. Yeah, this is the classic. This is the classic. Got a bit more weight. This is the classic on figure of eight. Got a bit more. Uh, going to the cardioid. Cardioid there. Cardioid. There is a difference. Cardioid there and the sound going to Omni. This is it on Omni. This is it on Omni. I find the bass is missing there. I think the chart said 
there was more, there was a bit of a hump, but maybe that was, I don't know. There, putting it back to a figure of eight. On the 33, they're all good mics. Speed, clarity and extension. That's difficult to hear. The NT1, a little bit, oh, immediately, a little bit more shut in. Back on the 33, back on the 33, back on the 33, on the NT1, on the NT1. I can, some, unless I'm fooling myself, I can hear more in there somehow. On the 33. It's a little bit more shut in. There, there, there. NT1A. I can't hear more, but it's more accentuated unless I'm fooling myself on the NT1A. It's picking all that stuff up. On the classic, on the classic, little, maybe it's a little bit edgy, a bit of valvey edgy up there on the classic. So um, make of that what you will. Likes and possible improvements. Well, what can you say for the price? I think I prefer, myself, the NT1. The classic. It's got a bit of a classic valve sound, if you want that. Increasingly these days, I'm finding all these, this sound and that sound and all the other sounds. Increasingly these days, I'm just finding, uh, why bother? Just get... If you just pick the thing, check the voice up the way it is, and that's the end of it. But, no. Price-wise, I don't know now. About 1,500, I think. They have to check it out. 150 pounds or less, I think. These much the same, I think. The Earthworks about, uh, I think it's around 2,000 in the UK. Back on the uh, the NT1 then. So you know, for the for the money and the build, I can't see any. Um, the mount's very good. It's, it's, yeah. The, there isn't. They're not the last word in um, resolution. NT1A, not the last word in resolution. But do you need that? Classic, not the last word. But yeah, a bit of that bloom. Not the last word in. Uh, it's nice, in uh, resolution. On the 33, I think, the way things are at the moment, probably the last word in uh, resolution so far. So there we go. I hope that was uh, of some use. It's all a bit, uh, what's the word? Heath Robinson. That's two words. It's all a bit Heath Robinson, but hopefully it gives you maybe some idea of uh, the difference in the roads. Merry Christmas. <laughs>